I do have some kind of exciting, interesting stuff here. So um, I have here in my formerly graphite stained fingers, this is a proof copy of the Retro Rogues fanzine. So this is not intended for circulation. This is only for my uh, purposes because we're going through a final proofread of the Retro Rogues fanzine. Um, give you just a little bit of a taste of some of the things that are inside. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give away everything here, but just so you all can get a sense of um, we'd shown this on the store the show previously. Um, again, this is a digital first publication, but um, anyhow, this is this is basically um, in my hands. We are in the process of um, proofreading it. Um, it, and getting ready to make the digital version available to everyone. Um, now, for those of you that are terribly interested in getting an actual physical print copy of this, Eric and I were talking about this actually before we went live tonight. If you want to get a copy of this, uh, please send us just a private message. Send it to either me or Eric. It doesn't matter where you do it. Uh, you could do it through the website you could do it through uh, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Just send us a message. Let us know that you're interested in getting a copy of this. And we'll take a look at the possibility of putting a, a print run together for this magazine. Um, it's basically 28 pages. Um, it ranges from uh, profiles, like the profile of PJ from Orville Nation, um, to some very interesting... Um, you know, comic book specific content, such as the the feature story on on Moon Knight, um, and it gets pretty in depth. Uh, for it gets pretty in depth uh, for those of you that are interested in this. So um, it's all fan generated. Um, it was basically done just for love of the various fandoms. Um, so if you are curious and interested in possibly uh, getting a print copy of this. Again, the digital copy is not going to cost you anything, okay? But if you want to get an actual physical print copy, Eric and I did discuss it, and uh, we're looking at maybe getting some numbers together and possibly looking at putting together a small print run. It'll be very small, very limited, um, and we'll see. Um, so um, I'm very, very excited for this. A lot of work has gone into this uh, publication. Um it's, um, I'm really hoping that people are going to like it. I have sent some preview versions out via email uh, to the various contributors who actually worked on this particular publication for them to take a look and, and, and see, um, you know, how it's been employed and the design work and what we're doing with it. And the overall reaction generally across the board is everyone's very excited and, and everyone likes what they've seen so far. So, so if things go well <laughs> and it's this has been a this has been a, a massive heavy project for me so it's part of the reason i've been a little light on my pop culture and my uh streaming wars is because i've been trying to focus on getting this put together um in amidst doing other kind of you know side projects here and there uh through my freelancing and obviously you know i've got a day job too so i got a lot going on but we are I am seriously hoping that we will be looking at making this available by the next show. I think we're pretty much there. There's just one last item to put together. Uh, a cartoonist friend of mine saw a print copy of this and decided that he wanted to contribute a cartoon for it. So literally a new cartoon is, is being put together and being sent to me as we're speaking right now for inclusion. So, um, and then what, after we get this first one out and we roll this out, I will be, uh, basically asking for, if people are curious, submissions uh, for, for possible inclusion in the publication moving forward for people who are interested in, you know, writing about their fandom or the things that they love and actually uh, including it in this digital, uh, the Retro Rogues fanzine moving forward. Um, so more information you know about that nice? as we get there. You know what would be nice, Dave, and uh, something that we can kind of put out there right now is it would be nice to have a viewer column. You know what I mean? A, co a column that is specifically meant for our viewers. So like Dave was saying, any of you, your specific fandoms, whether you're into film, whether you're into comics, you're into collecting, any of your fandom, 
if you guys want to write about that and be featured as sort of a a, a viewer, you know, the, one of our viewers, one of our, our fans, you know what I mean? Sort of a, a fan forum, if you will, we could have an article about you. I, I think that would be awesome to spotlight one of our, you know, one or more of our viewers and, uh, you know, what they're into. So I, I definitely want to put that out there. Yeah, that's a great idea. I would totally be down for that. Um, Cause you know, the, the more sort of like, you know, sort of comics history essay type things. Um, uh, you know, I wrote two of those. Ed Harris wrote a really, really interesting one. This this one's pretty good, y'all. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Um, Ed wrote a really interesting one on you should be collecting comic book art. Um, it's yeah, well, it's we'll it's really it's really in depth. It's it's pretty intense and it's cool. Um, and has some really kind of cool art included with um, with this his story. So um, I would be totally down to include, um, obviously, you know, reader submissions and stuff. And having a um, a retro rogues gallery feature or meet one of the rogues gallery or whatever we decide to call it, I'd love to do that. That would be awesome. We could totally do that for sure. Because PJ's is very much sort of a content creator spotlight or feature you know ben uh benjamin glenn dennings is very much an artist spotlight feature i'm in the process of of trying to actually um i've got some high hopes y'all i know who i want for that <laughs> second one it's someone who i kind of know professionally but i don't know that well i sent him a message actually via linkedin um uh, and I, i'm I'm hoping I'm hoping he's down to do this because it'd be really cool. It's someone whose work I've loved for a very, very long time. Um, and it's someone who you'd never hear much about. Um, and he's done some incredible, incredible work that I personally love. So um, if he gets back to me and it, and if things work out, um, hopefully I'll be able to announce that uh, pretty soon. But we've also lined up some other people for the next edition already. Uh, very excited for that one. Um, we're our main focus for a lot of the sort of article portion of it is actually going to be Miracle Man. Um, it's one of my personal favorites. Um, so I'm going to be writing a couple of pieces specifically about Miracle Man. Um, and I can tell you that right now uh, for sure. But no, this this thing's really cool. I'm very excited about it. Um, and I hope that hopefully people hopefully watching and listening are going to be excited about it too. Um, it's definitely a labor of love. Um, here's the best part, y'all. No advertising anywhere in this thing. None whatsoever. <laughs> it's just people talking about stuff they love. It's a lot of me talking about stuff I love because, um, unfortunately, I had a little bit more room to fill than I expected as I started getting things in from other people. And I was like, oh, I got to add an extra page. I got to add an extra page. So anyhow, it's been a little nuts. But we're pretty much there. So my hope is by next Wednesday, uh, maybe in advance of next Wednesday, um, people will be able to actually get the digital version. You'll be able to read it, check it out, and, and see what it is that we've been working on. And I just want to put it out there to everybody. It's it's looking awesome. Uh, you know, I get the updates constantly from Dave. Uh, it's really coming together very, very well. As we discussed, uh, we're probably going to be looking at some sort of a limited uh, print run, probably more of a, promo a promotional kind of thing. Uh, hopefully when events start going on again, maybe we'll have these at events, things like that. So because it's really looking good. It's really looking good. And it deserves to have something like that. And we've already got some good comments here. Uh, Bobby Chambers says that's awesome. Uh, Joss uh, Posse says freezing that screen so I can get a sneak peek. <laughs> that's awesome. That's exactly yeah. what we want to hear. Uh, Jane says she wants both. So she's already saying she wants both. Of course, you're, yeah. of course you're going to get both. Of course, of course. Um, and, but uh, and, Bobby, and Bobby says he can't wait to read the original art section. He can't wait to yeah, read the original art section. It's really good. And um, one of the cool things is everyone's heard me talk about um, my mom. And uh, my mom actually did contribute a, uh, if you can see that, she actually did contribute a cartoon for the first first edition there. So it's the child using his um, Jedi powers to summon some TP. So there you That's go. That's very cool. <laughs> and actually she was just asking uh, fan art too. What are, you know, fan art. I think that's a good idea. Some fan art would be really it, a good uh, contribution, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, and the goal of this is is to make it a fanzine. As long as it is um, positive in terms of talking about, drawing about, creating a cartoon about something you love, you can still have a little fun with it, you know, but the goal is um, it's a fanzine. So we want to celebrate the things that we love, the things that we enjoy. There's a lengthy article in here about my X-Men Funko Pops. I mean, literally, there's a lengthy article about these guys because I I love these little X-Men Funko Pops so much because I think they're so cool. This is the Cyclops one, by the way. I thought maybe the next couple of issues I would feature them. The thing I was most shocked at is that they're actually they're actual bobbleheads. I didn't realize they were bobbleheads because my Batmans are not bobbleheads. They're just solid. They don't move, but this is actually a bobblehead, which I was kind of surprised at. Um, but no, but it's not just about them, but it's it talks about my love of the X-Men and where it started and why I found these particular pops so fascinating for me personally as a collector and as a fan. Um, and I actually talk about the comic book series and, and talk about how it was introduced actually to the X-Men as a whole. And a lot of this is recommendations for things that, for example, like if you read the article and you're curious about one of these comics I'm talking about, except for the Moon Knight section, most of these comics can be gotten or purchased relatively cheaply. Um, and they're really fun, great reads, especially if you're a diehard Marvel fan. I have a huge write-up, and basically, for me anyway, the Bible of the Marvel Comics timeline um, is in here. So I think everyone, well, not everyone, I think most people are really going to enjoy this. Um, but it has a lot of comics content a little bit of TV and movie content, some topical stuff, some some evergreen that's going to be around forever. For those people excited about Moon Knight, we don't have Wizard Magazine anymore to give us that really great, interesting, in-depth, retrospective, kind of cool thing about Moon Knight and give us some, some reading. Well, I did that in here. You don't need to fear that Wizard Magazine doesn't exist anymore because I put that Moon Knight write-up that you would have gotten in Wizard Magazine. It's, it's in here. So um, very excited about that. And again, thanks to our contributors. Thank you to PJ and Benjamin Glendening for agreeing to be featured. Thanks to my mom for contributing, Ed Harris for contributing. Um, thank you to uh, just, uh, there's so many people been involved in this to help pull this thing together. Thanks to Eric for, you know, getting my emails late at night and listening to my crazy things about what about this and what about that? And, um, so I think it's going to be fun, everybody. I'm really, really very, very excited about it. Um, but we're, we're right at the finish line. And then once we get this one finished, we get it out, we get the look, the style and everything kind of established. And you'll see how it's a little bit like Starlog and a little bit like wizard. Um, and once we get the look and everything kind of set and established, um, it should be, cause I, I know it's not going to be too terribly easy but I'm very excited for the next edition because I know who specifically I'm trying to get for the uh, the next issue. The artist spotlight, if I can get who I want, it's going to be really cool. I actually have um, uh, a gentleman who actually runs a company, uh, and we're going to do an in-depth breakdown and talk a little bit more about sketch cards, for example. Um, just very excited about this. And I apologize if you hear my dogs barking. Mike is not here right now. We're just going to have to put up with it. It is what it is. It is, it what, is, it what, is. what it is. Yeah. Uh, Jean um, McCary, she said, hi, Dave. Oh, hello. So it's good to That's see right. people in the rogues gallery commenting. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, but we're, I'm super jazzed about this thing, y'all. I'm super, super excited about it. I love Starlog. I love Wizard Magazine. I have personally felt a real kind of missing piece you know, there's a lot of great comics news sites where you can go and get a lot of this information, but there's just something about having it in a magazine format. Even just look, because I read a lot of digital comics. Um, for example, I'm in the process. Um, I was going to talk about this a little bit tonight. We're getting ready to do the Comics Greatest World uh, thing I'm going to do in the podcast. And then, uh, yeah, I'm very excited about that. Um, and there's a, an interesting sort of little teaser thing about Comics Greatest World and what we're going to be doing there. So, um, and I've been reading uh, the Dark Horse Heroes um, actually uh, on Comicsology digitally, as I recommended, hopefully, uh, 
hopefully some of you went out there and did that and you downloaded those because I'm going to be doing a serious deep dive into Dark Horse Comics, X, and Ghost and really getting all into the Dark Horse Comics Greatest World universe uh, and, and talking about the really interesting things they were trying to do, the things that were successful and worked, and then things that maybe didn't work quite so great. Um, but it's just very excited about that. That's going to be coming to the audio podcast. Uh, my hope is this weekend, if things go well, hopefully the first maybe one or two episodes will be hitting this weekend. So That's awesome. And remember, yeah. everybody, that sort of our central hub is uh, www.davebeatty.com. So for anything Retro Rogues, uh, make sure that you check things out over there at the site. Uh, and I'll, as uh, Dave mentioned, uh, we're always open to your comments, your suggestions, anything like that. So please feel free to contact us directly. Um, my DMs are always open on Twitter, so I've never closed them. I never will. So if you guys want to reach and, out, please and do you so. Guys, and you guys can message me on uh, Twitter, Facebook. You can message me through my website. And just for so everyone knows, there is an actual fun functioning RetroRogues.com as well right now. I actually got that finished too. So there is a dedicated page uh, on the Day Bitty website specifically for the Retro Rogues show. Um, I've got a lot of the live shows. If you missed any of those or you're having a hard time getting to it via YouTube or whatever, there's links to Eric's channel. The videos are right there. We can check them out. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, and then there's links to, if you're curious, there's links to um, the, uh, uh, the Spotify. There's links to, again, the directly the Facebook page, tw you know, Eric's Twitter. There's links to basically everything. So if you're wanting to explore more what we're doing in various things, um, it's, all, it's all right there. And I, like I said, I apologize. It looks like I've been slacking a little bit on my end, but that's because I've been trying to get the website portion up. I've been trying to get the magazine finished, um, and there's you know I've got the trying to get the audio show going again. So I've just had I'm I'm juggling too many things, but weirdly <laughs> I, I I'm also kind of at peace when I'm juggling too many things. So a little stressed, but also a little bit happy at the same time. Maybe it's my madness. So, but anyhow, uh, but yeah. Well, you are an artist, Dave. You are an artist. So. <laughs> <laughs> What else can I say, man? That's true. <laughs> That's true. 